So it's incredibly tight because the top two, if Lindsay wins by more than one second, she wins the whole event. Combined on both events together, there's a double score, right? Yeah, if it, if, so she needs to win, she needs to win the last event and she needs to not mess up the second last event or vice versa. I'd say her better chances on the last event than the second to last event, but I don't think she'll do particularly badly in either. Um, but I think she has more on the handstand push-ups than her competition. Um, also, she's from Crash, so there's like home advantage, or I'm sure JR is praying that she doesn't win because it just looks like he's biased. Um, but it would be cool, it'd be cool. And she's done it, this is her third time doing the event. First time she did it, she finished dead last. Second time she did it, she finished like eighth or tenth or something. So it's cool that like she's basically guaranteed a podium, and it's cool. It'd be especially cool if she could win it. What do you think about Lydia Fish? This like I, I've I've heard this dubbed a coming out party by experts in the space. Um, Are you she, one of them? She's pretty good. Like she's she's strength. Like she needs strength, and that's the slowest thing to build or the hardest thing to build. And she's small, so it's going to be extra hard to build. Um, I was talking to Perrin and she said that she's a very active person in general so one of Perrin's struggles is trying to get her to like slow down and like that's the way you build strength is you stop like rushing around so much so she said like we've heard that before yeah from another co might be a common trait um, so yeah I think if she can get strong she doesn't seem like strength is the only hole that she seems to have like she moves well she looks good she's fast she's fit she's got good endurance she's good at gymnastics so if she can get strong without losing all that other stuff, yeah, she's pretty good. Are you having fun? It's, it's fucking legit. It's a legit event. Like, it's cool. Numbers on the floor at a local competition doesn't happen. How much do you think those cost? I was actually thinking about that earlier on, and I wonder if you have to pay per digit, and... Dollar amount per... <laughs> yeah, like, I wonder if you buy a one, is it like $5? If you buy a one and a zero, it's $10. And then if you buy a one zero zero, you get the other zero free. <laughs> <laughs> buy buy two get one. Um, I act, I don't think it's cheap, but the thing about Jr. is if he takes in hypothetically, if he takes in like twenty thousand dollars for this competition, it's like literally your account will be like incoming twenty thousand, outgoing twenty thousand, and five dollars probably. <laughs> like he doesn't take. Anything he gets, he puts in, and you can see it with all the equipment he has, the flooring, the layout, the judges. I haven't heard any volunteer, any person that's here, or any person that's like given up their time to be here. I haven't heard anybody complain about like, oh, this is bullshit or whatever. And you always hear that at events. Um, so he looks after everyone, and especially looks after the little details, which is impressive. Does it look like I'm going to be kidnapped? It looks like I'm going to be kidnapped. <laughs> this is re ring. A rewritten version of the 2019 Sprint Couplet. That one had a sled push and bar muscle ups. This one has ring muscle ups and a sled push on the turf. 12 ring muscle ups, 70 meter sled push, 12 ring muscle ups. Yeah, top six women taking the floor. The gap between Lane and Fish is about 11 points. We've seen 75 point swings between athletes across these two events, so nothing is guaranteed up there. However, both with great gymnastics efficiency and it should be a battle between the two of them for the overall win. Oh, Han is up for lane now, so five reps to go for Fish, five reps to go for lane. The Fish comes down. And she gets rep 12 at 324. Lane comes off, so Fish will diminish that lead of Lane's by how much is what remains to be seen. And Fish doing what she needed to do as far as Lindsay Lane is concerned. Sneaking some points from her would probably get me pretty close to a dead heat heading into the finale. Lane, with no time at all in the transition. Picks up the wall immediately, and this is not a good side for Lydia Fish. Those look easy. Lindsay Lane is done. Ooh, 
at the two at the one minute fifty second mark. She has seven reps to go. Lydia Fish is leading on the handstand pivot. She only has two reps to go. She's past everyone else despite being the last one there, and she's done. She's two clean behind Lane at this point. And this is it. Whichever one of them gets seven reps done first is going to be a winner of the Crash Crucible retour. One rep to go for Lane. This is for the event win, the heat win, and the competition win. Lindsay Lane is going to be the champion of the Crash Crucible 2023. Actually, a nice little um, visual representation of how I feel. <laughs> Low battery. Oh fucking hell! I, I'm saying in the the motorhome thing with uh, Ryan, and he's in the front bit, like which is like a living room come bedroom, yeah. and I'm in like the bedroom at the end. And like I tested this morning after I woke up, I like hopped out of bed and like you know like wasn't careful at all. No, like you could balance a glass of wine on my bed and nothing would have spilled. He rolled over, he said, at 5 a.m. And I full on thought we were rolling down a hill. Like I woke, I was like, fuck. And then I realized like, oh, it's just like wobbly or whatever. But like nothing happens when I move, but he I, he started coughing straight after. And I was like, dude, you have a really bad cough. He's like, yeah, I rolled over at like 5 a.m. and started coughing. I was like, you you just rolled, you didn't get out of bed. You just rolled over. He's like, yeah, fucking hell. How do people live in them all the time? Check. Yeah. Oh, it's the big thing then. Oh, it's just a poster. Oh, so you can So if you went into the bank with that, yeah. maybe I'll try. You can try lodge both. Yeah. And I've lodged this one and this one. Yeah. Ma'am, this is a replica. Oh, what? Um, how's that? How was your weekend? It was good. I think I did the best that I could. Like, honestly, the thruster event was probably my favorite. Even though like my placement wasn't the best, but like, I PR'd by tons. Like I hit. Two thrusters at 175, one roller up there, um, and overall it was very fun. I love the high skill, volume, everything. So um, I've heard this referred to as your coming out party. <laughs> Do you agree with that? <laughs> we'll see. Um, what's the plan for us now for like the rest of the off season? And then off season, I'll go home, spend some time shoveling snow in the winter. <laughs> um, <laughs> Cardio yeah, exactly. Yeah. Where do you live at? Yeah, sure. uh, Wisconsin. So, yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Where about in Wisconsin? A uh, tiny town called Triple Falls. Oh yeah. Mm. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Of course. Yeah. So. Um, and then what about other competitions? Um, I qualified for Waterpalooza, which was heck of a ride because I got a. Uh, penal a penalty on one of my workouts okay. on the strength event, which learned my lesson, I guess. Oh, you had your bar loaded or something? Yeah, I did, yeah. Okay. yeah. So, you still qualified? So, yeah, I was in the last spot. Like, okay. I, the night I found out, we were like, all right, well, let's find another competition. And the Fittest of the Coast qualifier, like, happened to extend their, um, yeah. like, qual deadline yeah, whatever. deadline. And so we went to the garage, like, after I ate dinner and showered. And, 
put the hammer down, and then in the morning I woke up and looked at the leaderboard, and it was like, I made the last cut. Like, how did that happen? Yeah. So I feel like the cards all align. Did you qualify for the other one as well? Oh, I stopped it. Because, okay. like, I would have had to have done a comp uh, workout right before this and then tomorrow. So, okay, yeah, just, okay. yeah. Um, that workout, the box step over, or box jump, step down, all that. Yeah. Um, at the end of that workout, Heron looked quite panicked for about, like, 30 seconds. Yeah. Can you finish what happened there? I don't know what happened, actually. I just, like, didn't really feel like myself. Usually, I feel like I start swimming, like, once, I, once it hurts. Like, that's where I thrive, usually. And so it was kind of weird, like once I was doing my box jump overs, I was just like not feeling very well. Like, oh my gosh, I might just fall over. I don't like know. Or? Yeah, just like off. And like I had to set the kettlebells down because I felt like I couldn't breathe that well. And then, I don't know, it was fine. <laughs> Shake it off. You were so, just fine. Yeah. Just okay. Mm, it's just, just okay. a weird thing that mm, you yeah. hope never happens again. Yeah, it's exactly. Fine. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Yeah, maybe, well, maybe get a check, but okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, my mom always says, like, just take it off, you're fine. Oh, cool. Yeah. Maybe get a second opinion, but yeah, okay. Yeah, we'll trust, see. trust your mom and also get a second opinion. Yeah. Good job, well done. Thank you, appreciate it. This is the worst squat I've ever done in a workout. So bad. Oh my gosh. Did you. Are you salty? I've never seen you like this. I'm kind of cute looking at you, Matt, bro. I like to see the low pressure. No, it was just funny because I was. You guys were done off the boxes. We had like me and uh, you Max. Were ten, you were 10 box jumps ahead. I think we finished the snacks at the same time. Yeah, we And then I got 20 and box jumps ahead of you. And I was like, Coos, come on, bro. You can do this. That was a. Uh, but you did finish strong based off those box jumps. You finished strong. Like, it wasn't like that was the only place that held you up. I wouldn't expect any squats that hurt you more than that. So that's good. Dude, I couldn't hold it on rope. I just know that Max dude was hurt. It, it, there was like no hiding it. Everybody was watching you. It was so when sad. When everyone's hurt, it's a good thing. Handstand push up, tear left. You can even know the no wall, bro. Dude, these, turn, these turnarounds ain't loyal, bro. No way you go. I'm doing a go walk. This is, um. Oh my gosh. Let's do that. I'm not sponsored, actually. My face, my face ain't on the app. Um, Who's this, Jason? Yeah, Jason and, and Justin and, and Dallin, all the cute guys. You're next up, bro. Us, uh, us ugly boys can't get on that app. Bro. Hey, bros for life. You want to join me? Yeah, it really does. But top five, it, all, all of us. It's going to be insane. Me too, bro. I'm just excited to throw it out on the boys. It'd be nice to make some money, but we'll see. A thousand dollar plane ticket. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you from? Uh, Olive Branch, Mississippi. Oh, did you drive here? Yeah, it's about like nine hours. Well, actually, 15 hours if you drive with my mom and my brother. Oh, no. So I gotta stop and pee <laughs> like every five minutes. <laughs> oh, shoot. Have you ever done grass before? Yeah, I did it last year. So much fun. You gotta hang out with these little goons. Little goon. Big little goon. goon. Big goon, yeah, big Major goon. <laughs> I was doing this year. It's going pretty good. Maybe Had notes. I lied to you. Thought, like fifth, I think. Yeah, I did. It was high, but this year is so much more stacked. Yeah. So I was super. I had no expectations coming into this year. Are you trying? Are you trying to go to the Trying, yes yeah. sir. How old are you? Twenty. Oh yeah. How's that going? It's going pretty good. Training has been. Yeah, I'm in college. Yeah. Um, Ole Miss. We should get to the gym by like 6 p.m. Work out 6 to 10. So it just hasn't studying? been ideal. Um, business right now. So pretty easy. It's not too bad. Have you been to some before? Uh, yes, sir, last year. Yeah. Or, yeah, last Florida? year. Uh, no, I was in the West. Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't know how Mississippi is in the West, but... Still in the same way. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it went pretty well. I think I placed 22nd or 20th there. Yeah. So, it was a lot of fun. <laughs> Did you ever compete as a team? Yes, sir. I competed in 18, but I hurt my back, so I couldn't compete. And they made it back in 2020. And then COVID happened, so they canceled it for us. So, so no, never, never really competed. Yes, sir. I never competed, so I'm really nobody. I, just a boy from Mississippi. <laughs> I thought I didn't know. I've never done like a team qualifier. If not, then I'll go. But I can't really. Bro, I wish I was on you and Nate. Then next team. week, and I, dude, why don't you do it then? It'd be so fun. Why don't you do I it? I just don't want to do another qualifier. Bro, come on. If you would have made the game no, this no, year. No, no, we no. could have bypassed Please, it. Bro. 
do it with us? Joey's probably pretty hyped. Nah, 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 nah. Who's on your team, James? I got Benoit Boulanger and Jack Farlow. Oh! Yeah, it's gonna be fun. Go. He's a gymnast. Ben is a gymnastic freak. Jack's a weightlifting freak. I'm, I'm aerobic, so it should be a good combo. I'm what, happened, what happened to the good dudes? Good dudes, uh, they kicked me off for Ricky, bro. No way. I literally, I literally <laughs> was so, really... I was so mad. I was like, bro, like, we had such a good thing going, you know? Yeah. We were vibing. Who, who, Ricky's a good dude too, though, so. Who initiated that, down or? or uh, Tier, the sponsors. Oh. It wasn't even their fault. Come on, Tier. But I would take Ricky over me too, so I can't so blame sad. him. So sad. The sled, the sled couple workout, bro. I think that one dropped me to like third. It's really, it's really Not everyone's tied. That's basically how it is right now. Every, one through five is tied. If Will wins both workouts, he can still podium. The, the five of us, it could go anyway. It's so, going to be insane. How much money do you have to make? The... I have to get second to, to make money. If I get first, I, I basically, I lose 500 bucks. If you get third? Yeah. If I get third, yeah. First, first would be great for a wedding fund. Yeah. Are you engaged? I am engaged. Nice. Thanks, right. bro. That's Thank awesome. you. Appreciate it. When are you getting married? August. August next year after the games. Ooh. Se seems to be the time. You have to do it right before the open or right after the games. Yeah. There's a, there's a schedule. Wait a minute. So you're actually doing go up. I'm actually doing go up. They don't pay you. I uh, I just love what they do for my body. Yeah. I uh. I think that, honestly, I've had the healthiest season of my life because of it, too. Really? Yes, sir. That's huge. Yes, sir. You started doing it this year? I, I did it on and off like two years ago, but I've been really religious about it this year, and yeah. I've seen the, seen a great benefit. And you made it to the games this year. I did, bro. Wow. Yes, sir. Maybe correlating back Shout out Gowad. Shout out we'll Gowad. We'll take it. We'll take Let's it. Let's hear for Gowad. Let's hear for Gowad. Thank you, Gowad. Love you, Gowad. Three cheers. Clap, clap, clap. Did I get a camera in my face now? What's the day? Say what? Are you having a good weekend? Yeah, it's been fun. It's been fun. I mean, first is a little bit of pressure. Uh, but I mean, just to maintain it. Just trying to maintain first. Everybody's trying to chase you. Where are you from? Uh, Beckley, West Virginia. Not, uh, not a lot. What's the meth head for capital? A lot. Do you live in a place like that? Uh, a little bit. A place like Spartanburg? Have you been around Spartanburg? No, I haven't been around Spartanburg. Super ghetto. Yeah. I, w I wouldn't say we're uh, we're ghetto. I would say we're more of a uh, redneck. Okay. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, it's been fun. It's been super fun. First time here? Uh, first time here, yeah. First time. Uh, I haven't done a lot of competitions before this one. So I've been trying to get more experience. And this was one to check off the bucket list for sure. This is my second one. Really? What was your first one? Semifinals. Oh wow, that's crazy. Yeah, that was a big jump. Yeah. Do you have a coach or are you just? I'm with uh, Mayhem. Nice. So, I don't have a coach here with me. I just I follow their programming and uh, take their advice. Okay. And bring Do you it have in. Somebody work up there, or you just follow the athlete? I program? just follow the athlete programming and add my. If I don't feel like I did enough that day, I'll add a little bit more myself. But that rarely ever yeah, comes up. I did semifinals. Too. It's good. It was a little heartbreaking. Uh, missed it by one spot, just by a couple, couple points. So you went to your first competition ever and missed some, one of the games by one spot. Yeah. What was that feeling like? It sucked, uh, but it gives you a little bit of a fire to make it next year. Were you expecting that at all? No, not really. I thought I would do good, but I didn't think I would do that well. So is it hard then, whenever you don't qualify for one spot, but you first competition ever, and it's like? Mixed up, like, it was a little, better, yeah. Expected, but then when you don't like one spot, you're like, this comes sucks. Yeah. yeah, I was telling people, I was like, man, I would have rather missed it by like three. You know <laughs> what I mean? Like one spot, that one, that one hurts. Yeah. Was there? Do you have like one weakness you feel like was a, or just general experience? <sighs> I'd like to say I don't have any weaknesses, but I'm sure, I'm sure, so, I'm sure I have some. Okay. I'm sure I have some. So are you sick about this next year? Yeah, for sure. So, 24. Got a, got a couple more years, good years ahead of me. I own my own gym. So, yeah, just a small garage gym in Beckley, West Virginia. Okay. Is it an affiliate or? No. Okay, cool. Last event, how you feel? I'm excited for these ones. I think um, there'll be a lot of risk taken here. Yeah. See, you gotta kind of try, you gotta go and broke on the first set of muscle ups and then. Take a pace on the sled that you think 
is like the fastest pace that you can go that still allows you to go unbroken in the second set and try and hang on. Does the scoring affect how you game plan for it? For sure. Like yeah. now you can dig out of bigger holes. Mm -hmm. What place yeah, are you in right now? Fifth. Okay. Still in fifth, but I closed the gap a lot. I didn't make up as much points on that event as I thought I would. I won by 45 seconds, but I only got eight points ahead of second place. So I'll have to make some moves here. But yeah. I think on the second part, I can definitely make some big moves. We'll see. Nice. That's exciting. Mm -hmm. Is uh, coming from where you live, is Spartanburg bigger than that? Yeah, Spartanburg's <laughs> way, way bigger. Really? Yeah, like, we don't have a post office in my town or anything like that. Wow. Where, have you been, where are you staying at? Uh, I'm staying at a hotel like 15 minutes from here. How's that? Um, it's alright. Hotel room's kind of smelly. <laughs> <laughs> it smells like what? Uh, just like musty. And Ooh. like, they put an air pressure in there, but yeah. it's just like way too strong. It smells like... Classic? Yeah, way Makes too strong. Makes it worse? Yeah. <laughs> Are you, when did you get in to the uh, Like Thursday afternoon. Oh, yeah. I probably should have got here like a day earlier, I think. Are you tired? Did you drive or did Ali drive? Oh, yeah, I drove the whole way. Nice. I don't, you're a man. <laughs> it is rough. You drive one of the cattle trucks? What's that? You drive one of your big farm trucks? Oh, no. Just our Toyota oh, no. uh, RAV4. Efficiency. Yeah. yeah. Have you enjoyed it so far? Been here? Yeah, it's been fun. Is it disappointing at all if you don't? Like, did you come in expecting to win? Not expecting, but that was um, I was hoping to win, but yeah. I didn't... I mean, I didn't take, like, a full prep to be my best here. Yeah. Trying to keep, like, the whole... The big picture of the season in mind. And just kind of take this for what it is. Came here to learn. Challenge myself. Do some interesting events. And obviously, I want to win, but I know I got to keep in mind. It's like not be emotional about whatever results happen. I know I didn't come here peaked or anything like that. Yeah. So just had to kind of take it for what it is. How do you level that in your head? What tactics do you have? Um, so it's like a lot of self-talk and not letting like the negative thoughts thrive in your head and just being very ob objective about it and being honest with yourself. Yeah. You have a lot of inner dialogue? Yeah, pretty much constantly, yeah. <laughs> talk yeah. to yourself more than anyone else? Yeah. I don't, so I don't talk a lot, but I'm always going through things in here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What things have you had the most fun with learning or practicing being here? Um, I'm glad that I got to touch a flip sled again. Desert or carry too. Those are good things to experience in competition. Yeah. We don't do a ton of. Um, the pegboards are nice. We just got them put up at the gym home like three weeks ago, two, three weeks ago. Okay. So we didn't have a ton of time to repair on those, but. Killer. Who's winning for the men? What? Who's gonna win? Win what? The whole thing. The whole thing. The whole thing? No, yeah. Notre Dame. <laughs> Happy. No, Happy. Colton's 23. Happy. Colton's. Oh, Col what? Who's gonna win? Colton's gonna win the whole thing. thing. He's 23 like, points back. That's it. No. There's 200 points who's on the who's table. Who's gonna win? The pig farmer. Ooh. Taylor? Uh, the, the pig. Win? <laughs> yeah. Whoever's in first. He's gonna, he's gonna make him squeal. Oh, wait, he's gonna make him squeal like a yeah. hat feels in the first. One in hundred of a point. So I don't think he's gonna uh, win. Who's in second? Who's whoever's in second? Oh, James, Greg. Greg. He's not winning. No, he's not winning. I don't know, man. This is hard. <laughs> it's gonna hard be this. Move. It's gonna Undecided. be this. I got you right here. Thank you. Colton Hatfield Coos Sprague. Wow. Watch. I like him, but he's not going to win. Not when he's tied. Depends on how Coos is on the parallettes. Stick with Headfield. Headfield's oh. winning. How much money do you want to put on it? Colton. I'm going with Colton. If Colton doesn't win, I'll eat cake. Colton's going to win the last workout. He needs to win the both Headfield's the last. Headfield's really good at parallel hand deadlifts. Is he? Who said he is? Me. How do you know? I have a feeling. <laughs> He's not as good as Colton, but he's better than everyone else. Well, if that's the case, then Colton might not win, but I don't think he's better than everyone else. But all Colton has to do is wow, look at Quinn. Is he, Quinn. is he better than Quinn? Is he better than Quinn? Come on, Quinn, back up. Let's go. I heard Quinn's good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Quinn's the best at everything. 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 Quinn's the best
when have I talked to you in a workout? Always, bro. Always, you're up. Three minutes. I left you last week. On what? I ran you, bro. On a GHD lunge run workout, bro. I, I look behind myself like, where is he at, bro? Did he quit? Did he quit? <laughs> Back between the knees. Heels only on the wall, so hips, none of that. Hips not closed, hips open on the wall. Cool? Mm -hmm. All right. You got that? Good. You got that. Can, can we touch our parallels when we go out there before the rings? Absolutely. Yeah, so you can go out and like adjust <laughs> parallels where you want them now, or you can just wait to the mandatory two minutes. You're going to have to rest two minutes in between anyway. So whenever you want to do it. All right? Cool. Good luck, guys. Thanks for that. Thank Thanks. you. And now comes out the final heat. These guys are in control of their own destiny. Let's not forget that Colton Mertens dug himself out of a hole also. And it will be if he does win this, it will be a dramatic climb. No one coming off the rings here. All of the men are about to drop off at the 42nd mark, but they'll all be a few steps behind Merton. It's Merton, Patrick, Sprague, Davey, Rosema, and Coos at the 48th second mark. Hatfield and Merton's leading the charge. Hatfield on the ring, Burton's on the ring. Colton cycling faster than Hatfield. He's about two reps ahead of Hatfield. One rep for Colton, one rep for Hat. Colton 215, Hatfield 216. Colton's gonna have to do something very special here and uh, he's gonna need some help from the uh, other athletes. second behind Austin Hatfield by 23 points. That, if he finishes with it, uh, with a three rep separation from Austin Hatfield, he'll win. But he has to finish above everybody else too. So I would watch Colton for sure. Second mark and hands in the air for Merton. Damn, is he going to try to go with Merton? Nobody who has set this big in any division. Both of Merton's unbroken. Austin Hatfield in the background with one rep to go. He's the current leader. He's the man that Merton needs that separation for more than anything. Merton's two more games to go. Hatfield five points to go. Both of Merton is going to be your event seven winner. Two minutes and 43 seconds. Not Burton's it. doing everything that was necessary, and everyone at home, I'm sure, is on their feet celebrating. Hatfield comes across the line at 343, second best in the team, but way behind Burton, the full minute behind him. I think I should have left his shirts out. <laughs> <laughs> Holy oh, crap, that was awesome. That was cool. My heart is like, oh. It was, uh, you said 243 for Mertens? Yeah. It was 343 for Hatfield. So exactly one minute between them. Basically, that's four minutes. That's 75% better or 25% better than the next closest man. It's reminiscent of Matt Fraser on Friendly Fran. It's reminiscent of Laura Horvath on the ski bag. It's one of the best performances uh, that we've seen here in terms of compared to the competition. A little harder after that ring thing, but overall, it felt better than I thought it would. Yeah. yeah. It was a fun weekend. Right. I'm gonna be one point from fourth or one point over and be in third. It's gonna be close. 
It's either me or Rosamund. Third. Uh, I go away from the line, bro. I don't know. <laughs> I just, I just screw myself. He beat me by eight seconds on the first one, and he beat me by a minute on the second one, and he was 18 points below. Me. It's gonna be really close. You lost a lot of money this, this week. I did lose a lot of money. Because I, I paid for golf. How are you doing? It's, uh, a little nervous. Think you didn't know? Maybe. Colton did pretty good at the end. Is that the guys you expected? Uh, yeah, I feel like first event, I uh, did what I wanted. Second event fell off a little bit. Yeah. Same bad guy, a little heavier than I expected. Happens. It happens. <laughs> Full weekend done. Full weekend done. It was fun. What are your biggest takeaways? I just have fun uh, coming here to get some experience. I yeah. need some CrossFit uh, competitions under my belt. I'll say this is my second one. So just the experience was a big part of it. Are you going to do any more this season? Or you... Yeah, I'm doing Waterpalooza. Nice. Uh, Mertens just asked me if I was interested in doing a team with oh, him and Tent Lowe. So I mean, that, that might be in the works. That I'll, get, I'll get with him. Yeah. That'd be fun. You qualified for Waterpalooza? For yeah, I, uh, I got first in the online qualifier. Nice. So I'm a, I accepted that. I'm going to head down there. and. See, what, see what's down there. And that'll be your first time there. First time there. You excited for that? Yeah, that one's uh, supposed to be one of the fun ones to do. Yeah. I've heard. It's awesome. What's your day? Do you work? Just the gym? I do, uh, so kind of like uh, Merton's, I'm a farmer. Oh, nice. So I do uh, rabbit farming and just. Uh, rabbit? Yeah. What's that? You kill them or you raise them? Both. Really? More, more so raise them. You get less money if you kill them. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, I just sell them uh, locally and. Uh, to like local uh, feed stores and whoever wants them. Are there like species of rabbits? Uh, there's different uh, breeds. Uh, oh, they just different colors. Yeah, you get different colors. You get different uh, just ears are different. Some of them are flop ears. Some of them are straight. What's the most expensive rabbit? I'm not, I'm, I'm not a rabbit genius like that. I just sell Okay. What's the most expensive rabbit you've ever sold? $40. Okay. Yeah, it's not, is it a lucrative business? Yeah, I sell probably over like a thousand a year. So, really? Yeah. So who? I just uh, really like Rural King, Tractor Supply, like just places like that. And so more like business to business rather yeah, than yeah, individuals? Yeah. I sell them to individuals, but it doesn't come like the, because like, I'll take uh, 20 to 30 at a time okay. to like the bigger places and sell them like that. Do you, how much land do you have? How much or, land? Or where do you raise it? It doesn't take much land. It just just cages, so just in the backyard. <laughs> They're not raised in your garage? No, no, no. But close? Close. So you have 20 to 30 at most at a time? I just depends on what they want. They call me and I take them over there. Do you have a personal rabbit? No. Oh. I had a rabbit when I was younger, got eaten by a dog. That happens. Lived in a cage in our backyard, dog popped the bottom out of it, scooped it up. That happens. Yeah, right. When did you get into rabbits? Well, three years ago. And how? Uh, my grandpa started it up, and I was looking for a way to make more money, and uh, he kind of handed it down to me, and then I just took over doing it. How long ago did he start it? Probably about a year before me. Okay. And then uh, he saw that I was needing a way to make some extra money, and he just handed it off. How does someone get into rap? What was he inspired by? Just an old man looking for something to do. Wow. That's what I think it was. Never heard of anyone in the rabbit. It's it's uh, not a lot of people uh, hear about it. It's kind of funny when I tell people. Yeah, so rabbits, garage And I own gym. a gym. Okay. Yeah. And you're 24. 24. Nice. Did you go to school? Nope. Nice. High school? Went to high school, graduated, and uh, never did like school. Yeah. Figured I would uh, try to pursue CrossFit, which I think I'm not doing too bad, what? and uh, just work on the side. Yeah. Seems like you're killing it. Thank How you. important is that, like, have you found so I guess you don't really know the difference between other people, but do you think it's important for you to keep those other things going? Yeah. Or is it if you part of you like, I wish I could just do CrossFit? I don't think that stuff gets in my way of CrossFit because yeah. it, it doesn't take a whole lot of time. Um, I have plenty of time to train and owning a gym, I'm there anyways. So I get plenty of time and I'm always there. So just train and yeah. coach. Is that your dad that's here? No, stepdad. Stepdad? He's getting fired up. Yeah, he's he, he get, he's into it. <laughs> did you play sure. sports growing up? I did. I played uh, soccer, football, and baseball. Okay. How long has he been your stepdad? Uh, I would say 
six, seven years. Okay. Not too sure about that. So he wasn't necessarily around during the young years. He he was the uh, he was around during high school. Okay. Not the early on years, but around high school for sure. Gotcha. So he's he's been your high school. Oh yeah. Nice. He's always he's always super sportive. It's awesome. Well, I guess let's figure out who won and who got second place. Good luck. Are you gonna buy more rabbits with this money? Oh yeah, absolutely. Is that what it's going towards? Ah, some of it. <laughs> I'm glad we can kind of get everyone in and out at a reasonable time today, but it's time to announce the individual males because everybody else has done their podium ceremony. And we got a close race, okay? So. Third place. He's been videoing me doing go wide. He's gonna send it to him. Oh, saying, you need this guy. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> 